Welcome to the Lady Walker Show. I am yours truly, Lady Walker. We have a great, great, great show coming at you. And I know I stressed that because I believe it to be a great show because my guest, oh, she is the lovely, lovely, lovely Charlene Pastor, Pastor Charlene McCoy. She is founder and CEO of Charlene McCoy Ministries. She also is founder and CEO of Kingdom News Magazine, also Charlene's Boutique and Fashion. Also, y'all, she is CEO, founder, and host of the Word Talk Show and the Word Radio Network. Welcome to the show, the lovely Pastor Charlene McCoy. God bless you. Howdy, Pastor. How are you? I'm wonderful. And yourself? All is well. All is well. Amen. And working out for my greatest good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen to that. And Pastor, I do say you are looking marvelous. Well, thank you. I Lady love Walker. that color on you. Thank you. And you look marvelous yourself. Oh, well, thanks a trill. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Now, you have quite a few things, uh, quite a few interesting things that you are doing, but before we get into the magazine, which is where it all started, because I saw on uh, somebody's Facebook page that you are friend with, I saw your magazine, Kingdom News Magazine, I saw that, and immediately I, I need to see if I can, you know, find out more about this uh a young woman at the time, I didn't realize you were a pastor at okay. that time mm -hmm. until I went on your Facebook and saw that right. you were a pastor, that yes, you are right. a pastor. Mm -hmm. I said, I want to have her out. But at that time, I didn't know exactly how far you were out in order to be able to come in. Yes, but right. thank God you are not that, that far away from here. So therefore, you were able to come uh, for this interview. And plus, we got some good things coming up in the future. I have talked you into being a guest host. Yes, you have. <laughs> yes. I had talked you into being yes, a guest host. Yes, ma'am. But before we get into uh, some of the things that you are doing, let's find out just a little bit about who Pastor Charlene McCoy is. I am Pastor Charlene McCoy, and I do live in Morton, which is about... 45 minutes away, so it's really not a bad drive at all. Oh, so all. that was good that's, then. That's awesome, yes. And I am the mother of seven. We have six boys and one daughter. Wow, six boys. Yes. One daughter. One daughter. Hmm. And one daughter is, in the house. One daughter in the house, and she's the youngest. She's 18, and she just entered into her freshman year at um, MSU. Really? Yes, well, congratulations. Yes, ma'am. And my husband is Deacon Wilbert McCoy, Jr. And we have been married going on nine years, December right. the 13th. Okay, so to God great. be the glory yes. for the marriage. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm from, the small town of Morton. Morton. I, I often tell people when you pass through, you blink your eye, you have missed <laughs> Oh, it's it. like that, huh? Yes, very small town. <laughs> you go through it just like that. Yes, ma'am. But great things going on there. Exactly. Amen. You are right. God yes. is still moving. Still moving. Still blessing. Yes, ma'am. Even, even if, it's, if it's a small town, so that's to speak. Right. That's right. All right. Now, as I said before, what really captured my attention, then we are going to talk about your ministries and we are going to talk about your boutique and the, uh, the radio show on the Internet and a host of other things. But since the magazine captured my attention, yes, tell us about Kingdom News Magazine. Amen. Kingdom News Magazine is something that God had put in my spirit probably about two years ago. And you know, I began to do the research and I think I was searching in the wrong place. But however, uh, this year, I would say about March, um, April, somewhere up in that uh, arena, God placed it back in my spirit. And it's just like he just laid it right in my lap for me to begin to do the uh, project. And so, and he gave me the name Kingdom News Magazine because we are to be kingdom builders. Amen to that. Amen. And Amen. I do believe in doing what God has called I me mean, to do in the ministry. So Kingdom News Magazine, it, it will capture the listeners and the readers, I would say the readers, their eyes, because the first thing I want to make sure that I do get uh, inspired men and women of God mm -hmm. to put articles in there concerning our ministry 
and also if they have testimonies or bios or things of that nature, that is my very first focus. But from there, it goes on beyond that where I do pull in uh, entrepreneurs or businesses that's in the area. Um, it can go from Scott County to Rankin County, uh, Lauderdale County, just the surrounding area with people that I meet on a day-to-day -day basis and I, I let them know about the magazine and they have been supporting it very well. So the first issue came out of August this year, which was last month, and it did good, amen. So we amen. thank God for it and we're just looking for God to do even greater things and it is quarterly. So my next one will come out in November. We are a month behind schedule, but that's okay. Right. I will get on the right track. And right now, it's yeah, because you for are me. doing a whole lot. Yeah. So of course, each t each thing takes a this takes a little time, right. that takes a little time. Mm -hmm. So I, that's mm -hmm. understandable. So for those people who would like to uh, uh, put an article in Kingdom News. Mm -hmm. What, how can they go about doing that? They can um, log on to my uh, website, which is www.charlenemccoy.org. They can go there and it will be information there for them. They can uh, send us a contact or they can email us at um, Charlene McCoy Ministries, C. McCoy Ministries at att.net. They can also do that and send us a request and we have a form for them to fill out and it's very detailed as to what the subscription cost and things of that nature. So, and they can always reach me at the 601-732-3824 every day, Monday through Saturday from 10 to 5 p.m. So if they want a magazine subscriptions, they can uh, do that to purchase one from that standpoint right. because right now they are not in stores. As no, of now. they are not, not, you said not the yet. key word, not <laughs> yet, amen, exactly. but we are going there. Amen, the because I, I tell you the covering that I saw, beautiful layout oh, wow. covering, Thank beautiful, you. and that's really, I, that captured my attention too. And I must say, I, I am going to say it, just to see a black woman amen. starting a magazine. Mm -hmm. And it's about the Word of God. And of course, you know, it's going to be some positive things. Right. People will share their struggles, but at the same point in time, they will also share their victories. That's right. So that is good to know. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Charlene, I see they are giving me the wrap up. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> okay, I got you. We are going to take a break and we are going to come back and we are going to probably uh, cruise on over into other areas that you have your hands in. How about that, Pastor that Charlene McCoy? That sounds wonderful. Thank you so much. Amen. We'll be right back. For more inquiries about Charlene McCoy Ministries, the World Radio Talk Show, Booking Request, Kingdom News Magazine, and more, visit www.charlenemccoy.org or email ministries at att.net or call 601-732-6775. We are back. My guest is the lovely Pastor Charlene McCoy of Charlene McCoy Ministries. And this is Kingdom News Magazine. You guys, it is beautiful, beautiful. And I love the layout. Beautiful. Like I said, it's so eye-catching. The covering, ah! Oh, I love it. I love it. And, uh, of course, as I said before, while I'm thrumming, look, thumbing through, we are going to talk about various areas that uh, you are engaging in. That's and true. you have a ministry. It is called Healing and Deliverance Ministry. Yes, Tell us yeah. about that. Amen. Healing and Deliverance Ministries is where I am, Pastor. I've been there, I've been pastoring four years. As a matter of fact, we are getting ready to celebrate my fourth year pastoral anniversary on next month on the 14th. And we would love for you to come out. On the 14th. Welcome. Now, by yes, the time this show airs, I'm pretty sure that date will was, was certainly be over with That's because okay. it will air after the 14th. That's all right. Okay. But I've been there four years. And when God began to deal with me, I um, was in evangelist for several years and then he called me into pastorship, another mantle on my life and I accepted it challenging. Did you now? But all at the same Did time. Did you run from it at first knowing you had that call on your sense. life? 
in a sense I did because I really didn't understand what was going on. Me preaching, <laughs> no, really? never thought about it, never in my life thought about it growing up as a teenager. But once God called me into the field, even the evangelist, which I took on in February of 2003, after dealing with me with that, I realized the reason why, because of the struggles that I went through at a teenager. There were some things that I encountered, um, probably starting at the age of 12, on up into my teenage years, um, and I always felt like it was things that a teenager shouldn't have never experienced. But it was for me to go through that I would have a testimony this day for other young ladies and even older ladies. Right, because you do go out and you speak. You are a soft yes. after speaker. Yes. So you go out and you speak to women yes. on various things. Yes, so I, I've, I've been as far as North Carolina, Texas, getting ready to go to Georgia the end of October. So God is really just uh, brought the ministry, you know, my, the ministry itself. And I thank him for it. I have done many conferences. Um, tent revivals, women gathering, and things of that nature. So I just move by the Spirit of God. If God speaks to me and he tells me to do a thing in his timing, I do it. I'm, exactly. I'm not afraid. I do it. So finally, when you decided, okay, I am going to answer this call to pastor, I'm, I am going to answer this call after being an evangelist for how long? I was an evangelist for... Uh, about five, six years, I believe. And, and then I that. went into the pastorship, yes. And I'm thinking when he was calling me into pastorship, like, God, it's too soon for that. <laughs> but God had to speak to me Isn't and let me know this is of him. It's not a matter of too soon because you hear people saying that God hadn't called you into that yet because that's too quick. But God would do a quick work I in know, those exactly. willing vessels. You know, I, I like in, in scripture where it say God God would take the foolish things yes. of the world and confine the, the, the wise. wise because yes. people think that God is going to do it one way when he would do it, it a totally different way. Yes. And what he wants to do, he wants willing vessels. Because exactly. there are so many that want to um, want to accept the call, but they're not really willing to be obedient to the call. Because when you accept the call of God, it's not about it's not how you want to do it, not where you want to go, not what you want to say. It is strictly what God is speaking to you and telling you to do. So that's just what I believe in, and that's what I do. You're right, mm -hmm. being willing and obedient. obedient. And, and that's a commitment. You have to be committed to yes. being willing and obedient. That's right. and so that was good because, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have probably gotten a call on, on their lives mm -hmm. from different standpoints. It may not be to pastor from, you know, from that's the standpoint right. where you that's are, right. but it could be a variety of things, but people are running from it. Yes, they are. They are running. And, and, you know, we have these excuses why we can't do it. It may be because of our gender or maybe we may use our color, right. our race, That's our right. financial uh, status or whatever it may be. We will use that as an excuse and say, God can't use me. You know, who am oh. I? to? I mean, God can use anybody. anybody. But anybody. we will use excuses That's right. to say. Mm -hmm. So um, healing and deliverance ministry is in Morton. Yes. And is there an address? We are located right now at 135 Highway 481 South, and that is in Morton, but we are in preparation of a new edifice, and it would just be right around the corner from us in the um, downtown Morton. So we're excited about that project as well. We're just waiting on them to call us, and we go sign the dotted line, Amen. and we get to work. Yes, Well, what time is service? Service is every Sunday. We Every even Sunday. do fifth Sunday. We do nine nine forty five intercessory prayer. Um, ten fifteen we go into Sunday school. Eleven fifteen we go into worship services. On Wednesday nights we do uh, six thirty intercessory prayer and seven o'clock p.m. Bible study. Wow, that's so, good. That's yes. good. One of these days I will certainly come out and visit. Amen. Amen. We would love to have you. Love to have now, you. Now you also do the word talk show yes. and radio the word radio network yes. what is that all about the word talk show i've always wanted my own radio talk show and god put this in my spirit about year and a half two years ago 
and he made that happen also in August. And the funny thing about it, Lady Walker, I was sitting there about two weeks ago and I was just going over my bio, uh, revising it, and God began to let me see that he did um, Charlene McCoy Ministries in 2006. Then um, three years later, he began to birth. Same month in August, he gave me the uh, Kingdom News Magazine. He gave me the Word Talk Show, the Word Radio, and he showed me that I'm doing these things in threes. And it was all in the same month. I'm like, wow. It oh, was it was all, all in the all same, same month. month, three years apart. And I never saw that until the other week I was revising my bio. So God, that blessed me to let me know he was doing it in threes and this is of him what he's doing. But the word talk show is it's, it's a radio internet uh, broadcast where I bring in guests, you know, from the comfort of wherever they are. You don't have to come into the studio. We, we can call you over the phone and I, I interview them or they come in if they wanna do their own ministry you know, 30 minutes, we, we request people to start at least a 30 minute slot and it goes up. So, and that's just to um, speak to the world, speak to the nation. You know, if they have a testimony they want to share, if they just want to teach on a particular subject, or if they, if they come in, if they just want to do an hour of prayer, 30 minutes of prayer, because Monday through Friday, I do do 9 o'clock a.m. prayer. I've been doing it since the talk show came on, well, I say about three weeks now. And it has really been a blessing. And we have people calling in from D.C., from Texas, Georgia, uh, Tennessee. So all, all over, over. which it's, is good, okay? It's Reaching worldwide. the people all over. It is and that's worldwide. the way it should be. Yes. Well, we are going to take a break. Okay. And we are going to come back and find out more about Charlene McCoy Ministries. Amen. All Amen. right. We'll be right back. Lady Walker Show. We are back with Pastor Charlene McCoy of Charlene McCoy Ministries. And she was talking about the internet radio show, talk show. And once again, I am going to hold this beautiful magazine up so you can get a glance of it. And if you would like to certainly um, get a copy of it, she's going to certainly give you that information again if you would like to get a subscription and all of that because we do want to support, don't we? Exactly. All right, Pastor Charlene, we left off with you briefly talking about the uh, radio talk show. Yes, yes. And it comes on Monday through Friday? That's when the, I am on there, Monday okay. through Friday at 9 o'clock a.m. You have different broadcasting slots, okay. so any it, it doesn't matter because my time is flexible for it to bring in any guests that want to be on there. If they go out on the uh, w um, internet, which is www.wordtalkshow.org, and just click on the uh, broadcast with WTS, they would see the time slots that's oh, available. Okay. And if those slots are not, um, you know, pleasant or pleasing with them, they can always request their own slot because, again, I say I'm flexible to go out um, any time that a person needs to go out. Well, that's great. Yes, yes. And you also own a boutique? Yes, ma'am. Tell us yes. about that. The boutique is called Charlene's Boutique and Fashions, and it has been up and running for three years. August made three years, and mm. that was one of the projects that God let me see in three years, you know. And so it caters. I started it out catering to our pastors and um, women ministry, just uh, clergy, period, because we want them to look nice. Exactly, especially if you are yes. serving God. Yes. Okay? Yes. We don't need the world per se That's to be right. looking better than That's those right. who are servants of God. Yes. Okay? If you are out there and you are bringing forth the word, even if you are not bringing forth the word, but Still if you are, good. right, if you are, of God. Yes. You you want to look good That's for God, right. okay? Mm -hmm. You of course we are concerned about your inner being and right. your relationship with the Lord, but we also we want, want to make sure your outer appearance, appearance look plum pleasing right. too, okay? That's right. And that was my um that was the vision, you know, that we went in with and it has been a blessing, you know, in the hometown where I am, but I am looking to expand. I don't know if it's in Jackson, Meridian, where 
but I do see me having a, another location, but keeping the one at home because that is the only boutique we have in our hometown. Wow, yes. hold up, hold your horses. Yes. <laughs> the only boutique? Only boutique, only clothing store, And where period. is it located? It is, um, it's still there at 135 Highway 481 South. And the church and the boutique is there together. The church is upstairs, the boutique is downstairs. And the boutique is called Charlene's Boutique, boutique and Fashion. And, fashion. Yes. and it's right across the street from the post office. If, if anybody asks, they can just say, where is Charlene's Boutique? They'll tell them because we're small and people know who I am and they know that that's the only boutique there. And so we carry all kind of lines, Donna Vinci, Dorinda Clark Cole, mm -hmm. Tally Taylor, Ben Mark, all of the um, line, the brand name clothing, we carry those. And I don't per se keep a whole lot in the boutique, but I do have the catalogs and that is the biggest thing that I do order for men and women of God. But I do, I did bring in um, everyday clothing a lot of beautiful sundresses and sandals because my husband felt that I needed to broaden out a little bit. He <laughs> said, everybody don't wear church clothes. <laughs> and you know, I thought about okay, it that was prayed good. on it. Yeah. Your husband, a mm -hmm. man of wisdom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I took what my husband said and we did that. And so we've been doing that now with the uh, everyday clothing over a year. And this is a new location that we're in because we moved from the first location. So it has been a blessing, you know, to me. I love what I do, and I do believe God is pushing me further into the fashion arena, and we're going to step into that one of these days. Yes. yes so now with all of these beautiful things that you are doing, what kind of struggles did you face? I guess you can use it in general, you know, was it was fear ever at the door of your dreams or your life when starting Charlene's uh, Charlene McCoy ministry mm -hmm. when doing the radio internet radio when the when doing the boutique? To be honest with you, Lady Walker, no, really, it it really wasn't because God gave it to me. And I waited on his timing because the boutique. Now that's a good thing you waited mm -hmm. on his, his timing. timing because sometimes Don't when you're not work. in his timing, the struggle more likely yes. is certainly going to be noticeable yes. and it will be there. Yes, because um, I wanted the boutique he gave to me three years before I, he even gave it to me for birth. So once he birthed it, I've never been to the bank to borrow one dollar. It's just so God you built the boot. The so the boutique provision. came into existence without bank without money. Without bank money, it started out small with probably a hundred pieces that I had in there, maybe a little bit more. But now the store is full. We have a bigger location, and it all comes out of pocket. Once I started it, money come in. I take that little money and I bring in more. Never been to a bank. Yes, I, right. I didn't go to a bank for the word talk show. I hadn't been to the bank for the word, the network, radio network. God makes the provision. Right. That's how I know it's God because he always give me the provisions to make. I live by faith. Daily basic. I live by faith. God took me off my job last year, um, January uh, 2011, and I've been going strong. But since. The, the fear wasn't there when he took you off no. your job? No. When I, when I knew that they was getting ready to lay me off, they called me in and I looked at the human resource lady and when God revealed to me what was getting ready to happen, I said, it's okay. She's like, but we don't wanna let you go. We've done everything we can to keep you here. I said, sweetie, God is my provider. That was the, ooh, the best thing ever happened Praise to me. Praise the most high yes, God. And yes. in the meantime, we got to take one more break. Amen. All right, and we'll be right back. Amen. For more inquiries about Charlene McCoy Ministries, The Word Radio Talk Show, Booking Requests, Kingdom News Magazine, and more, visit www.charlenemccoy.org or email cmccoyministries at att.net or call 601-732-6775. back with the lovely Pastor Charlene McCoy of 
Charlie McCoy Ministries. And we only have probably less than a minute now, but again, we're going to just recap really quick on some of the, uh, what's a part of your ministries. You have Healing and Deliverance Ministry. Yes. And this is a church that That's a person church. can come out to in Morton, Mississippi, if they are interested, to come and sit and listen to the word being spoken. Amen. Then you have Kingdom News Magazine. Yes. And you also have, let's see, uh, the uh, talk show, Word Radio, Internet Radio. Yes. Okay, I'm screwing yes. that one up, but That's we okay. have that. Yes. Then yes. we have Charlene's McCoy. Boutique and Fashion. Yes. And what else? Did Charlie I leave McCoy anything? Ministries. Okay. And anything else that I... That I That's it. Okay. Well, That's listen, it. Charlene, we got to go. We know you are certainly coming back because I have opened that door for you to come back and be a guest host. Amen. And I thank you for taking me up on that offer. Yes, ma'am. We really appreciate it. I appreciate it. you, Lady Okay. Walker. Well, look, Pastor, it has been real. It has. Thanks so much for yes, tuning in. Yes, ma'am. Well, like tuning in. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming out and giving up your time. Yes, ma'am. All I've right. Been, I've been really blessed. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it has been real and I screwed up. Thanks so much for tuning in. <laughs> oh well, listen, love, it has been real. Thank you for tuning in and bear in mind that a merry heart do it good like a medicine. Therefore, I encourage you to take a little, a little time out of your day and have a laugh. Okay. And in the meantime, we'll see ya. Ta-ta. And I didn't bleep that right. Ta-ta.